Welcome back, 940 right now. Happening today, it is an out of this world mission. NASA's asteroid sample return mission is set to make history. Well, what does all that mean? Joining us right now to tell us more is Lori Glaze. She is director of NASA's science mission, directorate's planetary science division. You have a very important title, Lori. Good to see you. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing just fine. Thank you. Good morning, Amy. So this is fascinating. Tell us what's going to happen today. So this is a really exciting event. As you said, it's going to be the first time that NASA has ever collected a sample from an asteroid. So it is a, a new and exciting thing. Um, we've been uh, at an asteroid that's called Bennu now for almost two years, mapping out the surface and trying to find the best place to collect a sample. So today, what's going to happen this afternoon is the spacecraft is going to maneuver itself so that it, so that it can descend down slowly into Nightingale Crater, which is the place we've selected to take a sample. It's going to descend down very, very slowly and then just touch the surface for a few seconds, and it's got a little reverse vacuum cleaner uh, system on the end of the arm there that can suck in the rocks and material on the surface, and then we'll have captured that, and then the spacecraft will slowly back away, and then we'll hopefully begin our, our trip back to, to bring that sample to Earth. I imagine you guys are gonna be on pins and needles watching this happen today. Are you able to view everything? That's a great question, and actually, because the spacecraft is actually 200 million miles away, um, there's about an 18 and a half minute time delay. Uh, we won't be watching it as it happens. We, everything has to be done autonomously. We have software on the on the spacecraft that will do all of the maneuvers that are required. Um, so we will be watching the the information that comes back to us to let us know that the spacecraft is safe and let us know when the sample is uh, successfully collected. Uh, we won't have images for a while because it takes a while for all of that information to come back. But we'll, we'll share those as soon as we have them. It's truly incredible. A lot of folks might be conjuring up images of the movie Armageddon with Bruce Willis, right? That's what they <laughs> think about. But, and the reason that this particular asteroid was chosen is because there is a chance, a decent chance, that this asteroid could impact Earth at some point. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah, uh, Bennu is one of a special kind of asteroid that we call near-Earth objects, which means they're in a, a particular kind of orbit that uh, occasionally brings them near Earth, within 30 million miles of Earth. So those particular types of asteroids we call near-Earth objects. Um, and uh, Bennu actually does have a, 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 a small chance, but there is a chance that it could intersect uh, with Earth uh, and, and, and impact Earth uh, in the late 2100s. So between 20 and 2199. Uh, there's a chance that that could happen. So it's really important that we uh, learn as much as we can about Bennu, uh, what it's made of, how it's held together, how the rocks are held together, and most importantly, uh, so that we can really refine our estimates of, of its trajectory so we know where it's going to be and when. All right, Lori, I'm fascinated. I can't wait to watch. And, and folks at home can watch uh, later today as well. What does NASA have going on? So we've got a great event, a live event that everyone can watch and participate. Uh, you can watch live on NASA TV, or you can follow online at nasa.gov slash live. The programming is going to be on live from 5 to 6.30 p.m. on the Eastern Time. And you can also follow on social media at hashtag to Bennu and back. All right. Lori Glaze has one of the coolest jobs on the planet. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. You bet. Thank you.